The goal of this video is to show the placement of a 9 French MAC introducer. You will start by prepping the patient's right neck with a chloroprep. You will then place the drape over the patient once the preparation is dried. There are marks on the drape as indicated to help with the placement and direction. Remember, you must have on a sterile gown and gloves before handling any materials in the MAC kit. I have set up the kit in the order of placement steps. First comes the angiocath. Attach the angiocath to the blue syringe. Pull back on the syringe and slide the catheter off the needle to check. Attach a 5cc syringe to the manometry tubing. Thread the wire in and out of the holder to make sure the wire is not bent and is threading easily. The scalpel comes next. Pull the blade in and out. Here is the dilator. Next is the MAC introducer. The dilator will slip into the inner portion of the MAC introducer between the two ports to allow for smooth skin dilation and placement of the MAC introducer. Flush each port before use. The forcep and suture in the kit will be used to attach the MAC to the patient's skin. Once the kit is set up, you will place a sterile drape cover over the ultrasound probe. Be careful not to contaminate yourself during this step and ask for help as needed. Slide the probe cover down the ultrasound probe and tail of the probe. Now pull the sterile probe onto your field to begin scanning the right internal jugular. Place extra ultrasound jelly on the probe head before scanning. The internal jugular is lateral to the right carotid artery. You should put pressure on the probe and see the internal jugular collapse, whereas the carotid artery will not collapse. Once structures are identified, you should pull back on the blue syringe as you enter through the skin and guide the angiocath into the right internal jugular under direct ultrasound guidance. You should see blood return into the blue syringe when the internal jugular is entered. Drop the angle of your angiocath and confirm you still have blood return. Thread the catheter off of the needle and remove the needle and blue syringe at the same time. The catheter is all that's left in the skin at this point. Attach the manometry tubing to the catheter. Pull back on the 5cc syringe until blood fills the manometry tubing. Unfortunately, our model did not allow for blood to fill our manometry tubing. Remove the 5cc syringe and watch the column of blood fall down to confirm placement in the internal jugular. 
Next, you will thread your wire to about 30 centimeters. Remove the angiocatheter. At this point, all that is left in the skin is the wire. Take the ultrasound probe to confirm wire placement in the internal jugular. Make a generous skin nick right where the wire enters into the skin to prepare for the dilator. Thread the dilator with the MAC introducer over the wire. Clip the forceps onto the wire to free your hands. Hold counter traction on the skin as you push the dilator with the MAC introducer through the skin as a whole. You should feel pops through the layers. Once 75% of the MAC introducer is in, thread the MAC over the dilator. Remove the dilator and wire as a whole together from the center once the MAC is completely in the skin. Draw back until blood is seen in each port. Then flush with saline to remove the blood. Lastly, you will suture the MAC introducer into place. Sutures go on the blue portion of the MAC. A triple lumen slick allows for additional central access. You will slide the slick through the middle portion of the MAC introducer. Once completely in, lock into place. Draw black blood to check that each port is working, then flush through with saline to remove the blood. The slick is now ready for use. The pulmonary artery catheter gives additional central access and allows for monitoring of pulmonary artery pressure, cardiac output, cardiac index, systemic vascular resistance, and mixed venous oxygen. You can reference the PA catheter slide in this presentation to refresh on this monitor. While you remain sterile, your attending will help pass you the pulmonary artery catheter. Pull the PA catheter from the packaging onto your sterile field. Prior to placement, you will need to check the PA catheter. First, your attending will help flush each port of the catheter as shown. Next, you will check balloon integrity by inflating and deflating the balloon. Check for a red light at the tip of the catheter, then place your finger over the light to check for a change in the PA pressure waveform on your monitor. After the checks are complete, you will pull the PA cover from the central line kit over the PA catheter. Pull the sheath back to the 80 centimeter mark and lock 
into place. With the balloon down, insert the catheter with the curve facing to the left into the middle of the MAC introducer. Push in until the metal coils are covered. Once the metal coils are in place, your attending will inflate the balloon. You will begin to advance the catheter watching the PA waveform as you go. Think of the balloon as a raft and the blood flow carrying it to its destination. Once the waveform indicates the PA waveform, you will defate the balloon and lock the PA catheter into place on the MAC introducer.